as infection rates in Arab towns continue to spiral out of control. Professor Ronnie Gomes, who warns that there are over 750 new daily infections in just Arab communities, and it's growing. He warns that unless drastic measures are taken, including lockdowns and curfews, the number of critical patients and deaths will rise exponentially. With me now is Egbaria Zaki Mohammed, the first deputy mayor of Um al Fakhem. Thank you for being with me. The, the mayors of the ultra Orthodox, the Haredi towns, they say that Gamzu is targeting them, that the ultra Orthodox are a scapegoat. They're being unfairly attacked. Do you feel also that the Arab towns are being unfairly attacked? Or do you think a lockdown makes sense? Uh, good evening for everyone. First of all, um, I want to say one thing, you know. We remember from the first wave of coronavirus that when the government uh, conducted uh, strict restrictions, they, uh, they contained the situation. But now they knew from, you know, from the first wave that in the Arab sector and the ultra Orthodox also sector, there will be something like that. And we expected that in summer there will be weddings, lot hundreds of weddings in the Arab sector and then also the, uh, the same thing in the ortho, ultra Orthodox sector. So they didn't, I think, carry out uh, serious steps in order to contain this. And I think they should have been. A cooperation with the authorities, with experts, also with health experts and lawmakers. Law, uh, law enforcement uh, also should be carried out in order to contain this. We expected this in summer, but nothing almost was done. <clears throat> so unfortunately, we we have this situation now. As you said, it is increasingly, you know, something worrying. So uh, we hope that uh, the lockdown should be partially. I, I, we want it to be partially because it will be also difficult for us for, from the point of view of economic point of view. So I think now we are uh, dealing, you know, we are um, discussing this situation with, with the home front and the authorities. Uh, in Mr. Order, in Mr. Order, Deputy Mayor, what is the difference What's the difference between a partial lockdown and a full, uh, complete lockdown? How would a complete lockdown hurt the town? You know, complete lockdown, you know, nobody can enter and nobody can leave the city, except for essential jobs that should be, you know, um, uh -huh. determined by the authorities. Uh, but now if we talk about, you know, the, about the total complete lockdown, I think you know, most all the workers, the building workers who are traveling to Tel Aviv and to, to the south should be barred from, from leaving Umm al-Fahim. And I think the economic situation now, it is, you know, it is so bad and it will be worse. So we hope that this should be taken into consideration in order to have also to get through this crisis. We hope that all of us will get through this crisis. Uh, Mayor, and, as, you, Mr. Mayor, as you mentioned, there are many uh, construction workers, engineers, builders. They live in Umm al-Fakhim, and they travel around the country to build projects. If they yes. can't leave and they can't make money, how does it hurt the country? How does it hurt Umm al-Fakhim? I think, you know, it will, first of all, it is very, you know, it will be very, you know, it's a problem for Umm al-Fahim because people already uh, are suffering from, you know, lack of money. Uh, people want to work, you know, from the past <coughs> few months, people were affected, you know, severely affected from this situation. Now, I think the situation will be worse also for the, for the country, for the whole country.